Hi. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you're thinking like, hey, Josh looks pretty darn tanned now. Uh, I was just in Portugal. Uh, I just got back like two days ago and inside my body, it feels like um, middle of the night right now, but it's like four in the afternoon. So we're working through it and we're just gonna make a tired video today. Here we go. So as I mentioned, I uh, just got back from Portugal and uh, what a country, what an amazing spot. Everything was really pretty, super walkable. It was really nice to like not need a car to uh, go anywhere within the city. We were there for like 10 days and I would have loved to have been there longer. It's an amazing place and uh, if you can go, uh, go. It's wonderful and it's just super pretty. Look at these photos. We had a great time and uh, hopefully we can go back at some point. But for now, um, stuck back home with a sunburn on just my feet, which is wonderfully interesting. Let's talk about something that is um, a hard truth, unfortunately. Uh, so you've got amazing photos. You've got amazing gear. You've got your editing dialed in and uh, you've got years of experience got a great portfolio. Awesome. You're like 50% of the way to being a professional photographer. So I just wanted to talk about some of the other things that go into being a professional photographer as a professional photographer myself. And um, yeah, just kind of give my take on it. Now it still feels weird calling myself a professional photographer, but I've been working four years as a photographer videographer, and this is all I do. Um, do I make millions of dollars a year? No, but um, uh, yeah, I do pretty well for myself and uh, I'm very happy. So that's the most important thing. So I wanna talk about three things when it comes to being a professional photographer outside of your raw photography skills. The first thing I wanted to talk about is your brand. So this is what everyone sees. What does it say about you? With our brand, we do wedding photography and wedding videography primarily. It's me and my wonderful partner, Emily, and we live in a very naturey place in Canada, a place called British Columbia. It's with all the mountains, there's the ocean. It very much fills our hearts and our souls. We really cater everything that we put out into the world around those types of things. So when people look us up, they're seeing, you know, non-traditional, they're seeing things that are naturey, things that are adventurous, things that are explorey. We will shoot anything, of course, but um, we really try to take on the clients that fit with who we are and the type of work that we want to continue to do and uh, the type of things that really we enjoy. Now, that being said, we do have the luxury of taking on clients and being a little picky choosy. I know that when you're first starting out, you definitely kind of have to take whatever comes in. I've been there twice because I had to build uh, the business up here again once I uh, moved across the country. But yeah, something to think about is just what is the image that you're putting out there? What are other people going to take away from that in the design of a website, in your social media, in just the vibe that you put out into the world? what kind of clientele are you gonna attract with the messaging that you're putting around and try to have something that's fairly coherent and cohesive because you do wanna be fairly streamlined with the messaging that you're putting out there. People are gonna look at that and usually first impressions go a very long way uh, until you kind of build up a bit more of word of mouth and uh, repeat clients and those types of things. Awesome. So the second sexy topic I wanna to talk about is marketing. And marketing is basically how you put yourself out there. Um, pretty easy. The way I like to think about it is I have my brand and that's kind of like my house or my storefront and then I have marketing that's gonna bring people to my storefront and they're gonna like it I hope please. But living in the age of social media it's like 
really nice because it's all free advertising if you're posting on Instagram or whatever. The problem is there's also a million other people that are doing the exact same thing, vying for the eyeball attention, and it's really saturated and it's really hard to stand out. So on the surface, people aren't gonna care enough about you just like posting a photo. Unfortunately, I wish that was the case. You post a photo and it's like, oh, I wanna hire you, great. Uh, let's do this thing. Rolling in the money and then we're all, we're all rich photographers. But nope, unfortunately that's uh, not how it goes. So I like to think about social media as working as an extension of my brand. So if people end up finding me, you know, based on a search or whatever, um, or, you know, they pray to the algorithm gods that you actually get up there for once, um, they'll see kind of what I'm all about. And then from there, they can kind of get a taste of like what, I offer. A lot of the time as artists, we really, really, really care about our products so much and we think that everyone else should as well. But the harsh reality is unfortunately that people just don't care as much as you do at the very least, if not like at all, more than just like hitting the like button and then continuing their endless doom scrolling as they're trying to like escape the horrors of like having to work a terrible job that they don't like and then they have to like just do that for 40 years and then like that's how life is for them for always. For myself, because I don't want to prescribe a marketing plan to anybody because everyone's brand and everybody's goals are different than mine, but I found a lot of success in Google advertising because it is pretty often used in the wedding space. So uh, when I moved out here to BC, I uh, started to put some money into Google advertising. I targeted some different uh, keywords and those types of things that were related to the kinds of weddings that I wanted to be working. And again, I really just built my brand around the very nature-y, very adventure-y, very like non-traditional side of things. And it seemed to be that people that would come in would inquire specifically for those types of things because that was the messaging that I was putting out there as well. On top of that, depending on what kind of segment of the market you want to be in. There are lots of other things that you can do to put yourself out there. Um, there's a lot of in-person events. If you're near a big city, usually you can go meet people, um, talk with other photographers, other videographers that work in the same area as you. Try to work with people, collab with people. I, I think a lot of the time in the photography industry, there's like this um, fear of cannibalization that we don't want to, you know, be nice or I don't know, interact with other photographers. But truth is, like, there is a lot of work to go around, and I think if you really focus on what you bring uniquely to the table those little differences don't really matter and people will kind of see that. So I like to think that we're all kind of helping each other and each person has their own segment of the market that they can hopefully find uh, their way in as well. And that brings me to the last and final uh, point that I want to talk about in this video and that's uh, your personality uh -oh. and the interpersonal experience that you bring to people. Oh. Now this one is complicated because it's not like you can just, you know, spend a hundred dollars a month on Google advertising uh, to do this. It's not like you can just press a button or edit something differently or whatever. It's like who you are. Oh, gross! And obviously we can practice these things and there's things that we can do to give a better experience to clients. But at the end of the day, like this is just you. And unfortunately, this is a fairly big part of being a successful photographer because these are the types of things that will bring people back to working with you. These are the things that will allow you to build relationships with other people in your industry. These are the things that will allow people to spread word of mouth and recommend you to other people so that you can grow your business. So I think it's one of the most important things. And ultimately, for me, this is your competitive advantage. This is the thing that differentiates you from all of the other photographers out there, because at the end of the day, no one is you. But you're unique with your own experience and your own personality. And those things together are what the client is gonna remember the most about whatever you're bringing to the table. So it's like you do good work, you've got the experience, you've got some good gear and like, to put all those pieces of the puzzle together, it all comes down to who you are and how you interact with your clients. Hey, what's all the hubbub? So I know this is all like pretty pie in the sky, ethereal stuff. Um, for me, there's things that are kind of like table stakes when I'm thinking of client relations and I'm thinking of, you know, the experience that I bring. Like, are you on time? Are you responsive? Uh, does it seem like you care? Uh, <laughs> 
Do you understand your client? Can you describe what's important to them? Do people enjoy working with you? Like those things are all kind of like minimum, but consider things like how do you make people feel when they're around you? Do you create an environment that's easy to work in? Those questions and more available for $19.99. Yeah, if you order now, you can get two copies. We'll send you the second one for you to finish it. No, but it's these kinds of questions that we can consider. And when I think about them for myself, I think the most consistent feedback I get from people are that I'm easy to work with and that I bring a really great vibe to whatever shoot I'm working on. And those things seem really simple. I didn't pay money to get those things. You know, it's, that's not about the camera that I have. That's not about the lenses that I'm using. That's not about even the final product. That's just about who I am and what I brought to the table. And like, that's crazy to me. But consistently in my Google reviews and like what people tell me as feedback is like, it was really great having you at our wedding because you were great. And you know, they're always happy with the photos and the videos and that's awesome. I think like people are a lot more willing to look favorably on something that they receive in terms of media if they've had a great experience around the creation of that media, right? They're gonna think of that as a great time. So yeah. Some things to keep in mind. I, I think I could talk about this for like hours, but I am like sweating oh, right now. Gross. The window's open, I've got back sweat. So uh, we're gonna wrap this up so I can take off this sweater for not um, gonna break my continuity and form full sentences. So thank you for watching. Um, like, subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see you again at some point soon. Bye.